Saturday, 4th of Jan, and uh, herself is driving. And I'm giving the dogs a bit of a walk down the towpath. We're heading into Middlewich, which is another salt town dating back to the Roman times. That's all I know about it at the moment. Um, we've got to get through, get some water, but more importantly, we've got to um, get through what is known as the Big Lock, because it's been closed down on Monday uh, for repairs for a few weeks. So we want to get through that so we don't get stuck. The towpath here is really muddy. His boots are up, clagged up already. Middlewich Big Lock is so cool because it can accommodate double width boats. And the idea was that they would run wide boats down here, this canal into Middlewich to pick up the salt and take it back to the Mersey ports. But uh, it seems the tunnel builders weren't in on the memo because they only built the tunnels single width boats. So that uh, plan never came to fruition. Well, it's a lovely, dry, crisp day. Uh, I guess we're only going to do about four or five miles today. We've got five locks to do. We want to be just outside the town in a little bit of a country area if possible. And then we can walk in the town. We've got some parcels to post. Franz sold some more weaving and uh, got to post my sister's birthday card. Hi Cal, happy birthday. So that's us for today. So this is Big Lock in Middlewich and it's the first lock we've done since leaving Manchester a few weeks ago and it's the last wide lock we're going to be doing for some time which is great and uh, behind us there is the Big Lock pub and unfortunately we won't be frequenting the Big Lock pub or any other pub in Cheshire for the next month because we're having a dry January so, uh, yeah, <laughs> we're having a dry January, mainly because of the cost factor. You know, a couple of pints and uh, the odd meal in a pub, multiply that by four weeks of the month and uh, it all adds up as nice as it is and it adds to the spice of life, but uh, yeah, something we can do without. So we'll see how that goes. So that's the big lock done. 
Oh, that's it. So that's the end of our stoppages that we've got to worry yep. about, isn't it now? Nothing can stop us now. Except if I crash into this bank here. Yeah. <laughs> and we can cruise this boat together in whatever weather. Nothing's gonna stop us now. <laughs> Just see what I have to put up to. <laughs> We're at the scene where in 2018 the canal breached. That is a gaping hole appeared right where I'm standing now and the quarter of a mile ish of canal between the two locks flooded down into the river and the valley below and 200 truckloads of soil and material just poured down there with it. It took the CRT and two civil engineering teams nine months to repair and put right and at the cost of millions of pounds. Boats were stranded on the canal had to be lifted out and this whole middle which section of the Shropshire Union Canal was closed down for the whole nine months and it didn't reopen until December of that year. It was a fantastic team effort by CRT and the uh, civil engineering teams. People may know that Canal and River Trust is a charitable trust and uh, government funding is going to be ending in the next decade and uh, they largely rely nowadays upon public donations to help us um, keep this canal in a state that we all love. So I'm going to put a link below to uh, some footage that the CRT put up of the repairs of the canal here and also a link to a donation page for them and uh, any pennies that anybody can afford to donate would be welcome so we can all keep the canals that we love and enjoy. Plug over. The drone footage you're going to see now was taken by our good friend Chris Pickering from uh, Narrowboat Channel Chris and Shell and it was taken shortly after the repairs were completed. I'll also put a link below from uh, Chris's new channel regarding all his own business. So uh, cheers Chris, thanks very much. Sunday morning. Afternoon. I still think it's morning. It's pre <laughs> midday, Francis. Okay, Richard. <laughs> and we're uh, walking into Middlewich, pick up a few bits of groceries, have a walk around, see what's to offer. And uh, about it, really, isn't it? Yes, it's supposed uh, to be uh, quite an interesting town. So we've read up a little bit about it and um, we'll go and have a walk around and see what we can see. Um, Apparently there's a, a trail following the Roman aspect of Middlewich and the church is worth a good look at as well. So. And it is Sunday. Oh, and it is Sunday. <laughs> So we're at St Michael's and All Angels Church. Um, key site apparently during the Civil War of Britain in the 17th century, where the Royalists held up in here. 
taking refuge from the parliamentarians that were uh, surrounding them apparently. Love to go in and uh, learn a bit <laughs> more about it, but it's closed. There is, is a heritage trail around the town, but it's only open and working from March till November. And it's January, so we can't yeah. do that, that particular avenue of pleasure. <laughs> So yes, so uh, apparently it's lovely inside with some interesting woodwork carving. So um, maybe we ought to go in for the uh, evening five thirty service. Evening, I think it is, yeah. Nah, but some lovely bits of stonework. So standing outside, a lovely chap called Graham, who used to be the uh, church warden here, who's really active in the uh, church now came over and uh, asked us if we'd like to come inside, so that was really nice of him. So he's opened it up just for us. And it's a beautiful church, absolutely wonderful, uh, with so much history, dating back to the 12th century. But look at this screen, so immaculately carved. We're not religious by any means, but we just love coming into churches and you just, you do feel a sense of, I don't know, presence, calmness, I don't know what you might call it. But yeah, it's a beautiful place. Uh, thank you, Graham. There were two battles in the town in 1643. And the royalists were held up inside and the parliamentarians firing in on the church and that there is a cannonball bit of damage amazing We're going to be here for a couple of days and uh, we've got a tree right opposite the window so hopefully we'll remember to take it with us because usually we forget um, but yeah hopefully we'll get some birds on there. We had good fun with it last year didn't we? Yeah we did. Watching yeah. all the birds feeding from it. Yeah. We're expecting high winds tonight gusts of up to 50 miles an hour so you might have to come out at midnight and take that off you're on your own there <laughs> I'm gonna just clean the windows now while I'm here <laughs> we uh, moored up underneath I guess underneath a tree and we found that the, the boat has been covered in I think it's probably goose poo all over the windows and I can't sit and watch the birds through that so Geese don't sit in trees, Fran. Well, they fly over. So. <laughs> <laughs> Eagles, then. 
Good girl, I'm just popping inside, it's warmer. <laughs> <laughs>